Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the greatest video game reviews on the planet that contain nothing interesting or insightful, except for times when they do. I keep thinking to myself, if I'm supposed to be a man with aspirations to be a voice actor within the medium I'm reviewing, then why am I not just kissing ass all over the place? Stray is the greatest game that I've ever played. See, I'm off to a riveting start. Time to stop, as now I'm actually going to review the game as honestly as I can, and although I don't always do ratings, there's a great story behind what I'd give this game, and I implore you to stick around to the end. Don't just skip to it. Hear me out, and it'll be a solid build and well worth sitting through my explanation. This is Stray. A game I will never play again, except to capture this gameplay footage you're seeing now. I did my little litmus test on the public's general opinion of this game by typing in Stray in YouTube and scrolling for 37 seconds. Overwhelmingly filled with masterpiece praises, to which I'd respond with, chill. I feel like nowadays it's a catastrophe to not praise a game when they get one thing down to a science. Now it's a masterpiece. That one thing gotten down to a science, if that sentence grammatically makes any sense, is the world. And I'm not talking about the story behind it. The story in the game is touching, but nothing that could actually make me tear up, which is a testament to why this game isn't a masterpiece. Who do I think this game is for? Cat lovers and total pussies, to which I fall on the ladder. I'm sure this game is one of those cute little experiences that has already spawned a plethora of soulless cat ear gaming headset chicks, or men, crying in the thumbnail of the final video of them wrapping up the game. But I'm smart enough to recognize that these people are wolves in sheep's clothing, hanging stray cats from the ceiling split open down the center and catching the blood droppings in their mouths. The story is good, but not touching enough. It's the world building, the environments, and the cute-ass humanoid robots and their way of life that are the stars of this game. At one point, I was doing my kitty strut all over a bar area, to which I found a bowl with motherboards in it as a tasty bar snack. You see, this is where the masterpiece moniker is well-deserved. There are cute things like this sprinkled all over this sad and depressing yet beautiful world. And although it can sometimes be easy to get lost, and I mean that in an actually getting lost way where you can be oblivious to the objective, it's still fun to get lost in the good way once you take the time to actually immerse yourself in the environment instead of rushing your way through a four to five hour game, which I am insanely guilty of. My biggest complaint of the whole experience is one that's completely invalid. This is an adventure game, first and foremost, with slightly less emphasis on platforming and puzzle solving. And I'm only invalidly stating that because of how damn easy the platforming and puzzle solving is. And also because progression just doesn't feel super satisfying. It's still satisfying, but because I'm not completely completely inept when it comes to platforming and puzzle solving, this game does little to scratch the itch. The only time when this isn't the case is those fun little chase sequences with all the zerks, the little leech sucker fucks. They're creepy and can sometimes provide an acceptable challenge. I needed more intense moments like these, and there's a reasonable amount sprinkled in, just not enough for me. Come to think of it, if it's not abundantly clear from the fact I literally stated it at the start, this game is like a kitty clawing at the door approaching Masterpiece, but it can't make the climb because it's not Spider-Man. But that doesn't mean you should pass up the opportunity to play it, especially if it's the same way I did through PlayStation Plus and Plustra. This game also has fantastic music, so good I might use this time where I'm collecting gameplay footage for the review to play it all over again and try and platinum it. See, what the fuck am I even talking about? If it's good enough that I'll try to platinum it, it must be a masterpiece, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna try and platinum it. The platforming is very smooth and fluid. That's a massive selling point to someone like me where smooth and fun to XU platform platforming is a must-have. What else could I close off with? Any thoughts? B12 is adorable, your little used-to-be-human robot pair of goggles companion, and I grew to love the fictional robot language spoken by everyone. Again, the masterful works of masterpiece masterpiece is the charm and world and setting and location and other words used to describe what I'm talking about. It's what will have you hooked on trying to see the whole story through. And the ending is insanely satisfying, if you like completely unsatisfying endings. Let's see if I can replicate the feeling right now. If I had to give Stray a rating, it would be a like, comment, and perhaps subscribe out of... And I just might make some...